so we're going to start to put some water in first. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we have our sponge brush, our cloud brush selected. That size will do fine. And generally, I don't know how much water we're going to have in the painting, but we'll just fill the whole bottom up with water. And generally it's going to be the same colour as the sky. So select the phthalo blue and from the top just come in from the side into the middle horizontal strokes all the way down leaving a gap in the middle. Do that from both sides. change the brush to our blender again and increase the size and just gently blend it into the white <laughs> using two hairs and some air as Bob would say which do nicely and then if we want to we can always blend from the white in as well and same on the other side make sure you go horizontally otherwise it will look like your water is actually falling off the page and you don't want that but most of this is going to be covered over later anyway. So there we are. There's our water. That'll do nicely with our horizon, I don't know, just over half of the way down. Right, so we'll save it at that point. So that's our sky and our water. Okay. So we'll go into our layers tab now. See we've just got the one layer. We'll call that sky and water. Sky and water. On top of that we're going to create another layer which we're going to call mountains. So we'll choose our Bob Ross Mountain Knife brush, kibosh, increase the size of it. And also in our Bob Ross palette here, choose the mountain colour. Okay, now we've got to decide where we want our mountains in our little world. We need to decide how many mountains we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I don't know, let's just put in some shapes here. All we want is the outline at the moment. Come down with a wiggly line. Let's have a, another peek up here yeah, and bring that across, like that. a bit like that I do, yeah. and, uh, uh, and we'll have maybe another peek there, I'll tell you what, this and then bring that down to about there. And over this side we'll have another mountain. Let's see. Well 
there. That'll do for our mountains, now darken it up nicely. Get some paint in there, like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create some, basically just our shapes with that. And so we're going to choose our blender brush again, decrease the size so that we can keep a sharp and pull it down like so. What we're doing is we're just defining our top edge at the moment. Increase the size of the brush, don't need it too big, and just blend those mountains in the sort of direction where you think they might go. Just blend them down. the size of the brush a bit more. Let's just give some body to those. We want it slightly becoming lighter as it comes down. You'll see why in a minute. In a later video. So, that the base shape for our mountains. Now if we don't like them there what we can do is as long as we're on the mountains layer we can select the transform tool and move them down or move them across or move them up. Maybe we'll want them there. Looks like a nice place for some mountains. Well, over here. Back where we were. That should do. Right. To release that, just hit enter. Go back up to our brush in the toolbox. And there we are. Don't forget to hit save. File. Save. And as you can see, what we have now is we have our sky with our clouds, we have the shape of our mountain range, we have the water with the reflections running through the middle, well with the light source running through the middle. Okay, <coughs> stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, same bat time, same bat channel, where we will learn how to put some snow and highlights onto the mountains to give them shape and form. Okay, thanks for watching and bye.
Thank you.